So we have this do file, and this is a file that describes a, a very famous model in physiology called the Hodgkin-Huxley model, which is the model of how ions, charged uh, uh, molecular components, um, in this case, uh, just potassium and uh, sodium, uh, move back and forth across a cell membrane, a nerve cell membrane, uh, and uh, create a so-called nerve impulse. This is the story of nerve impulses. Mm -hmm. A nerve impulse is nothing but a polarized ring of ionic current uh, 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 moving down a cell membrane, uh, down, an, down the tube, which is called an axon. So we'll uh, discuss that a little more later, but let's look through this do file briefly. So we come down here. The first thing that happens, you can see, is uh, he had entered to continue, of course, after you've read this story. And here is a, a bunch of graphics, which is drawing a picture that you will see shortly. And here is uh, the actual definition of the Hodgkin-Huxley model, a set of functions and a set of differential equations, EM prime t means the derivative of em with respect to t time em stands for electromotive force that's the voltage essentially across the membrane it's equal to the ia the applied uh, current uh, at time t minus the ionic function of these things em of t m of t h of t and n of t mm -hmm. although we don't say the of t here <clears throat> and we don't need to and here are the functions that define the functions m, h, and n. The derivative of m is this. The derivative of h is this. The derivative of n is this. Uh, the ISS function is ionic of those arguments. The ESS function is the root, the value of e that makes IS, ISS of e minus i equal to zero. Uh, and... Um, and where do those things arise? Well, uh, they arise basically in this initial condition. In the initial condition, we actually have to use ESS0, which was computed right here as this root, the steady state startup uh, uh, voltage. That's what it boils down to, ESS for steady state. Okay, so we continue. But here's the next interesting thing. Again, we get to see menu choice in action. Here is menu choice printing out a title string ST1, which is just please choose one colon, uh, and, uh, and then ST2 gives the two choices, set the initial non-voltage clamp, set the initial non-zero uh, non current clamp, or neither, neither, set neither. And then uh, three is the default option if you, if you do nothing. So the arguments are titles, choices, and uh, default choice three. And we put that menu on the screen and you type a, a choice and the choice is put in JJ, is returned in the, in the scalar variable JJ. And then if JJ is one, we do something. And if JJ is two, we do something. We ask for that current clamp value. And if JJ is three, we do this. And we continue gathering input by putting menus on the screen. Here's another way of doing it. We use the get strings function where we put on the screen uh, a title, st1, which is nothing. See, st1 is quote, quote. We put on a, a, a command to the user, a string, st2, which is enter initial impulse potential char change value, charge value, excuse me. Now, this says change, potential change. Okay, so we it's asking for a impulse voltage that's going to be applied to the membrane before we uh, compute the um, result of the Hodgkin-Huxley model. And uh, we put zero as the answer. But then we call the MLAB uh, input-output function get strings to display ST1, ST2, and ST3, as you will see later. And this returns a string, a character string that the user types in. That string is put in ST4. 
It's an array. In this case, there's only one element in that array. And notice what the next line is. The next line says, set st5, some other string, to the text vi equal, that's in quotes, right? Plus, that plus means character concatenation, plus the string that was read in, which is supposed to be some number, some uh, set of digits. Uh, and then do that string. Execute that as a command. So this forms a command, and this says do the command. Well, we could have done this with a menu choice, where we got a number as a number, and then assigned that number to VI. But in fact, instead, we typed, we read the number as a string, formed a command, and executed the command, uh, which is sometimes a useful trick to know how to do. Uh, then we delete all of these strings that we've dealt, uh, string arrays that we've been dealing with because we don't need them anymore, and we continue on gathering our input for controlling the Hodgkin-Huxley model. Mm -hmm. So most of this is just gathering the input, but once we've done that, we finally say set the method to the gear method for integration, and then we say integrate the differential equations e m prime t m prime t h prime t n prime t on the list of time values TV. Generate answers there. What is TV? It's the time 0 through FD in steps of DT. What is uh, FD and DT? Well, let's find out. Here they are. They come from up here where we've read in the FD and the DT. See, we set, set up a string and assign FD. We set up a string and assign DT. And if you don't uh, uh, do anything about that, then those values are the default values that they have been assigned somewhere in this do file. Let's see if we can find that. The default is st3 12 at, for FT, uh, FD, and the default is 0.1 for DT and st3, and then whether you type anything or not, we form these assignment statements and execute them. So we always set FD and DT with these do ST5 and do ST5 commands, and they're set right here. And then TV is set to that time vector of all of those values we want answers at. So then we integrate our differential equations and get answers on the TV vector. And this comment just says, what's in the columns of the output queue? Um, which the manual tells you, as well as the string that you can type out called ODE string. And we type out some of the numbers we've computed, and then we would actually draw a picture of the Hodgkin-Huxley curve, draw uh, Q, the first two columns, time versus the actual uh, membrane voltage potential, uh, in yellow, and put some titles on the graph and view it, and then unview it and leave this new file. Mm -hmm.